Hello, I'm Nate. And I'm Zara. And you're watching Grammar TV. Wait a minute, this episode was supposed to be out on October 31st for Halloween. You can blame the Wi-Fi for that delay. First up, we had Monty and Ewan go into the basement to see what was lurking in there. This is where the fun begins. Alright, why don't you flick the lights on? It work. Bro, it's dark and sketchy as down there. It work. What, are, what do you want me to do? Why? Can't we just go back to art? Yeah, but you wanted to go to the basement. I bet there's even nothing down here. Yeah. Wow, some handprints. You can't tell me that's not scary. Random handprints. I bet that was just some kid back in like 1980. Yeah, but even so. Ancient handprints, very cool. Those names, how long ago were these names here? 25, 1925. Oh, that's almost as old as me. It's a glass. Glass. Damn. Shut up. That's some great art. Bottles. Look at them. Bro, they're so dusty. What do you reckon's in them? No. Oh, sure. Look, there's water on the ground. Damn. It's like bricks. It looks like it's had a collapse or something. What's that? Is that, is that blood? blood? Why is that blood? Oh, hey, what happened to my camera? <laughs> oh. That was a bit creepy. The rowing season has begun for the summer and Tilly interviewed Miss Ashton for some info. So the road season's well underway. So far we've got our under 14 to our opens training. So we're training a minimum of three times a week with some of our opens training up to eight times a week, which is a really big program. So that'll put us in really good stead for the season ahead. We'll have um, six weekends racing at the lake in the normal pennant regatta season. And then we'll have Tazzle schools at Head of the River later on in March, which we're really looking forward to already. The Launceston Grammar Rowing community is a very tight-knit community. So we've got 120 students and then with those students we obviously have families involved with them as well. So we really enjoy getting together for our social functions and at the regattas. But it's just a really nice community to be a part of. I really enjoy seeing our students excel in the water. And it's really nice to see them in their class environments as well in my teaching role. But yeah, it's a really great community to be involved with. Training sessions include two off the water SNC with TJ as well as ergos off water and on water sessions. On water sessions can range from going out in the eight, quads, singles or doubles, as well as pairs, and they usually can be moderate where we look at technique, as well as hard pieces, which is more of a cardio workout. TJ's SNC sessions are usually broken up into blocks of four weeks where we have different training programs for each block as well as ergos, which can include testing, long distance pieces and technique training. Yeah, I definitely recommend rowing to any grade sevens joining. We have some learn to row sessions coming up pretty soon, which we're all looking forward to. I would recommend rowing because it's a great way to expand your friendship group. And at the end of each season, you can kind of look back at what you've achieved and have a great sense of pride. We're really hoping to achieve some amazing results at club champs, school kid champs and head of river this year. Aren't they going to be tired after training? They sure are. Next up, we had Wilbur Hall interview the Grey Nines and their thoughts on the Grey Nine camp, and we got some of their thoughts. As end of term approaches, so does Mount Cameron camp for Grade Nine students. This nine day camp entails outdoor activities including bushwalking, mountain biking, sea kayaking, and white water rafting. I'm most nervous for the amount of distance we have to travel. Oh, not getting a good group. I am most excited for the mountain bike riding as I rather like to look at the nice scenery around me. Um, probably going kayaking. Sounds pretty cool. Um, the bit I found most challenging would have been uh, biking out the back of Mount Cameron trying to find our campsite with no maps, just using our compasses. Uh, most rewarding was when we uh, made our raft with our group and um, took it around the lake. Just come into everything with an open mind. Look to enjoy it, make the most out of it. Sounds like some people are pretty excited. I'm really looking forward to mountain biking. Morgan, Maddie, Evie and Mackenzie have a story for us. Two weeks ago today, we attempted to see how many rubber bands it would take to explode a pumpkin, but it failed, as we were bought a butternut squash. It was rock hard and wouldn't explode, so we decided to throw it off the art balcony not learning from his mistakes, he then went and bought another smaller pumpkin, which was also a rock, and no explosion occurred. 
Sorry to everyone who thought they were going to win $20. You're not. That was unexpected. Not for me. I expect the unexpected. And it sounds like Webber is to blame. That's probably why he teaches broadcasting, not science. That's all we have time for on this episode of Grammar TV.